Hi, Mark here from Pond Algae Solutions, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about how to treat pond algae naturally. By the term naturally, I'm making an assumption though, and that is that you basically want to avoid treating an algae problem with chemicals or chemical algicides. There's a couple of different ways to go about this. The first one that comes to a lot of people's minds, I think, is barley straw. Barley has been used for ages to help manage uh, issues in ponds. A lot of the university research, there's been at least a handful of studies done by some major universities on the use of barley in ponds for algae control and management. And here's a couple things that they found. One, it's very hit and miss. It's, it's pretty inconsistent. One thing that is very consistent, though, is, is that it has proven to be a better preventative rather than a treatment, meaning that you want to apply the barley straw well ahead of any algae growth. It, it may help retard growth, but it will probably not treat algae that's present already. The other thing that's important to note is that it is, as I said, very inconsistent. The results were very mixed, and so it is m very much a trial and error thing to treat upon with barley. But if you do decide to do it, you want to make sure that you get very well-dried barley bales. You, 20, 30 pounds are fine, and try to find them locally if you can. That, the direct source on the farm is the best because you're going to get your cheapest price for such things. Uh, but you want to take dried barley, break it up, and in, in a loose configuration, wrap it in some uh, nylon mesh, and then go ahead and deploy it in the pond. As this straw decays, it's uh, thought that certain substances are released during this process. It could be humic acid, it could be some hydrogen peroxide, but something is in there that does prevent growth of algae in some cases. And uh, so that's how people have found success with it. I would say it's worth a try for people who are really wanting to go non-chemical, but just don't have high expectations. Keep ex expectations reasonable and uh, see how it goes. You want to leave the barley in there for several months at least, again during the decaying process, and after four or five months if you want to replace it with some fresh stuff and let that begin the decay process, that's fine to do. Uh, I, I think the only drawback that I see with barley is again it's hit and miss proposition, but also keep in mind that it isn't really addressing the key root of the problem of why algae is there to begin with, and that's excessive nutrients. Barley isn't cleaning up any of those nutrients. It isn't cleaning up the bottom of muck, which is a big source of nutrients. And so um, it's not targeting the real issue, but may be helpful. Let's leave it at that. The primary way we would try to treat a pond naturally and non-chemically is through the use of good aeration, number one. And with the hope that this aeration could stimulate naturally occurring microbes in the pond, which can help bring nutrient levels down and help clean up a, uh, a, an unwanted growth. Basically, as the nutrient level comes down, algae will often have a harder time growing. And so you can basically interrupt its, its nutrient intake and thereby have it regress. The other thing that we might do is supplement some beneficial bacteria or beneficial microbes in there along with the aeration. This too helps serve as a pond cleaning mechanism, lowering nutrients and also slowly and gradually cleaning up some of the bottom muck and sludge and debris. And again, as the pond gets cleaner, these unwanted plant growths like algae have a much harder time taking off and blooming well. So in my mind, this is a much more direct and targeted approach to the real reason that you have an algae bloom and again it is although uh, an aerator may not be considered natural by some people's definitions it is the best way along with potentially supplemented microbial uh, products to help with an algae problem without using any kind of chemical algicides so i hope that information is helpful to you and if you have any other questions about pond algae control or management, please get in touch with us at pondalgesolutions.com. We're happy to help. Have a great day wherever you are.